Hi guys, I guess this week is going to be kind of a get ready with me. I'm doing my makeup and I've got stuff to talk about, so yay! So I've already done my foundation and my eyebrows, so we'll move on from there and I'll chat to you while I'm doing it because uh, things are going to get busy. Where do I start? This morning I got an email from um, a dance company that I contacted maybe about a month ago because I've been thinking about doing some beginner ballet classes because I haven't done ballet for a very long time and I thought it would be a good workout and also it would get me back into the kind of the basics of ballet again which for somebody who is very interested in musical theatre but doesn't really have that much dance training I thought it might give me a little bit more of an edge over people who don't have any dance training. I got an email this morning from the ballet company saying that they've had a last minute space come up and can I do my first class this Wednesday. So I got back and I was very excited. I was just like, yes, yes, I can do it. And then I realised that it was, it might eat into some time of a meeting I've got on Wednesday as well. And um, basically I've had to contact a few people this morning saying okay so my availability is changing on Wednesday evenings because I've now got a dance class so I've been emailing people left right and centre saying what my availability is and how it's changed then on top of that I'm also starting some singing lessons again I've found a fantastic singing teacher who is helping me with a part of my voice that I don't use very often because um, my original singing training I was first taught by an opera singer who helped to turn me into a beautiful soprano and then when I was at university I had a male singing teacher that helped me kind of with the lower side of that part of my voice and this new singing teacher has helped me with the belt side of my voice I guess because I've never really used that part of my voice because of the opera training and so she's helping me kind of she's basically turning me into an all-round basically so I can have my opera side I can have the musical side and then I can also have that belt which I've never really been taught how to use properly so I'm really looking forward to um, learning how to use that part of my voice a bit better and controlling that part of my voice a bit better I mean I've only had one lesson with her so far and already I can feel such a difference I mean I've been using mainly Sarah Bareilles songs believe it or not to help me try and get that get that control and a bit of Adele as well actually I've been doing that so I'm just moving my mirror over so I can do my makeup and talk to you guys these are things I've been wanting to do for kind of a while so the fact that it's all happening at once is kind of terrifying but it's also quite exciting at the same time and also because my other job is starting up again and you know we're having like an introduction because it's a theatre job and it's just had a massive refurb this theatre so the idea of going in and kind of learning all the new theatre spaces and seeing how things have changed is really nerve-wracking because I mean I know we're all in the same boat because the fact that nobody really knows the layout of the new place I mean only like the management really know anything and yeah, it's just it's just really nerve-wracking and I'm um, trying to figure out how to deal with that but yeah I'm using my um, Tarte palette because I'm trying to use it a bit more often and I'm just basically making my way through all my palettes and trying to use them a little bit more but yeah I cannot believe how quickly my life has changed in one morning <laughs> it might not seem much with starting classes but at the same time these are clumps these are things I've been thinking about doing for ages and um Obviously, because I've had a, like this last minute email about the um, dance classes, I actually sent an email back and saying, I wasn't expecting to start the class so soon, um, do I need to get some ballet shoes? Because <laughs> I've got like two days. And they were just like, yeah, we would prefer ballet shoes or um, barefoot, but if you've got any soft sole jazz shoes, they'd be all right for your first session. And so I was like chatting to my mum about it. I'm thinking we might end up popping up to the dance shop about half an hour up the road and just doing that. If you can hear that kind of murmuring in the background, I've got my computer on right next to me, so. I'm trying to be a bit more brave with my makeup. To be honest, oddly enough, it's Lucy Wood and a girl from work who are mainly helping me figure out what I want to do makeup-wise and I'm picking up little techniques from 
Lucy and from a girl at work who whose face is always immaculate and she's this girl at work she's 19 and she's just incredible at makeup I feel like I need to get some more makeup brushes now that I'm doing this because I feel like I don't have enough for what I do with my face now does that seem like way too much in the words of Lucy Wood eyeliner and mascara fix everything had to move you slightly there because um, the my little tripod thing is blocking a door the liner I'm using today is my collection extreme bold calligraphy liner the one that's kind of it's got like a little it's like that so it makes it slightly easier to do the um, wing so here's your game what I do how much things have changed and how many emails I've had sent out this morning to try and organise things I mean where possible I'm just like giving like little options and saying well so on these days I can do opening and on these days I can do closing and I'm trying to make it as simple for people even though it is probably messing up a couple of things with the um, renovations that the theatre's gone under I can't imagine how busy it's going to be and how many more people we're going to have as I'm dead quiet while I'm doing my liner because I can't talk and do my liner at the same time I create a line by using some concealer just to kind of tidy up the eye makeup. Um, use create a line using the concealer, and then I use that line as a guide for when I'm doing my eyeliner. As I said I'm not a makeup expert. This is literally just me making stuff up as I go along. Hmm. Why do we always have to have our mouths open when we do mascara? I can't do it with my mouth shut. I don't know why. This morning's been hilarious because me and my mum have been joking that if my dad dies we'll be fucked basically. <laughs> We've been going through stuff trying to find some passwords because the computer kind of fell over slightly and we realised we do not understand his organisation system at all. It was just like, for example, you'd think that Sky would be under S. Nope. <laughs> we still don't know where it is. <laughs> we don't understand the pro his sorting system at all. And I'm probably closest to it to um, when it comes to like his organisational skills. Mine are quite similar, but at the same time, I still don't completely understand how he's organised half his stuff. So yeah, if he does die before my mum, I don't know how we're gonna survive. <laughs> My mum was even saying at some point my dad has to kind of go through everything with me because I'm more likely to understand it than my mum. So that if anything does happen, touch wood, at least somebody understands his organisation system. Because it's not helpful if only he does and nobody else does. Because <laughs> it's not helpful if only he does and nobody else does. <laughs> I mean, it's handy that Apple has that thing where you can just put your where you can have all your passwords like on your phone or your iPad and you literally just use your thumb to access it because nobody else can access it unless they have your thumb <laughs> or whatever finger you've got set up to open everything starting to take shape a little bit more I just, this is my go-to, neutral I like this one, this is a Matte Me Ultra Smooth Matte Lip from Sleek and it's a little brown one and I like that because um, I think I've said before, um, I don't usually go brown, but when I got this, I kind of fell in love with it. Having that little neutral pinky shade underneath means it just doesn't look too brown on me, because as I said, I'm quite pale, so I don't really get away with really, really brown tones. Yeah, so that's the look. I might just... Uh, I'll put a little bit of that highlighter. So 
there we go. So uh, that's my little makeup get ready with me and I'm um, trying to work out if me and my mum are going to go up to the dance shop today or if we're going to do it tomorrow so I can get my ballet slippers. So weird to think I'm going to be starting ballet. It's kind of terrifying, especially with uh, my known hip issues but hopefully they'll be able to figure out a way for me to do stuff and not have my hips be a hindrance when trying to learn ballet because it was when I was young and because um, I think I was I want to say I was about nine or something because I started ballet when I was about three with my sister and then when I got to be at the age of I want to say nine or ten I realized that I wasn't enjoying it and I found dance really painful and so I gave it up to play the piano and then obviously finding out when I was what 13 about my hip problems I realised that probably had something to do with the pain that I was experiencing when I did ballet for the first time. So now that I know about it, I can work stuff out with my ballet teachers and say, so this is what my hips are doing, this is what my knees are doing. And I still want to be able to enjoy and learn ballet. But yeah, so thanks for watching this little get ready with me. Um, I have no idea where I got this top from. I wouldn't be surprised if it was a Matalan one, because nearly my entire wardrobe is Matalan. Probably just need to put a little bit of powder over. Oh yeah, my setting spray. Um, I love this setting spray. It's just collection. It just it says um, primed and ready makeup fixing spray, and you just give it a little shake, and then just go, and then just fan it down. I just hit myself in the head. Could you hear that? Thanks for watching. I've been um, Debs. If you want to subscribe, you can subscribe. You can put on the bell notifications, and you can chat to me in the comments if you want to. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. Mwah. Bye.